Vine Mealybug can destroy generations of success. Fight back with the mating disruption more growers trust. Visit Sutera.com forward slash VMB. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine reporting to you here today with Stephen Cardoza, uh, organic raisin grower in Easton. Wanted to talk about uh, the Healthy Soils Initiative. You're doing some projects with the UC Cooperative Extension on your farm. Obviously, soil health in the vineyard is a, is a priority. Uh, can you tell us what, what kind of projects you're, you're working on and the results you're seeing? Yeah, so I have a grant with uh, University of California Cooperative Extension. Uh, it's a demonstration project, so we have field days, at least one per year, so other growers and the public can come and see uh, what we're working on. Uh, the project revolves around the application of compost, mulch, and then we put in a hedgerow for beneficial insects. The objective is to optimize soil health, so reducing the tillage, reducing the chemical inputs, uh, trying to keep the soil covered and regulate the temperature. These are all tools that we have in our toolbox in order to augment the health of the of the soil and uh, I've invested in some pieces of equipment and some different growing strategies in order to optimize that. Tell us a little more about the the equipment and, and your strategies in, in doing that. Okay so we uh, plant cover crops in every single row. Uh, once it gets to the appropriate stage we terminate it with a uh, custom mower that not only mows the cover crop but it actually functions more like a commercial lawnmower that you'd see like brings it into the actual machine mulches it up and then expels it out one side so you have a thick band of mulch directly below the vine so that's going to help reduce your weed pressure it's going to help regulate soil temperature it's going to help with your water retention and give your soil a level of armor protecting it from the sun and other you know about our about stressors yeah Obviously, the drought is a huge concern for our industry, and anything that can help conserve the the soil moisture, you know, uh, people might be thinking too, though, that you know, you're putting cover crops in, you know, would that be taking away from the water, or overall, do you think it's going to be of benefit even during times of drought? Right. So that's a a question I get asked a lot. Uh, in my opinion, it's a common misnomer that the cover crops are actually taking away from the moisture of the plant. Uh, what they can give back far exceeds a little bit of water that they will utilize. And often uh, we're growing our cover crops in the off season, so the vines aren't demanding as much water. And the cover crops have a significant influence on increasing soil organic matter. And it's uh, by scientific estimates for every foot of soil, every 1% you increase the soil organic matter, that soil now has a water holding capacity increase of 22,000 gallons per acre. So the more you can up your soil organic matter, the more water you're going to be able to retain when you do have, you know, rains or if you're irrigating, it's going to give you a lot more um, access and efficiency with your water program and your irrigation program. Yeah, I think uh, cover crops is no, uh, there's nothing new for raisin growers. It's very pretty commonly used, but they usually disc them under at a certain point, don't they? Right, yeah. We try to avoid tillages at, at all costs, really. The only time we're disturbing the ground is right before harvest when we're needing to put trays on the ground and have that perfectly clean, flat surface. So we'll do really aggressive tillage at that point. But throughout the rest of the year, we're using the, the mulching mower machine, uh, we're also just using traditional rotary mowers, and then I have a under vine mower to help manage directly underneath uh, the vines, and um, it, it's helped us out a lot. And uh, I think that there's potential for application of growers that maybe aren't, you're not organic. Maybe you want to try to minimize your use of herbicides, or they're getting really expensive right now, as you know. Um, so uh, these practices can suit a lot of growers if you know you think hard about it and figure out how it can apply to your system, I'm sure there's a way you could work it in. Well, thank you, Stephen. I think um, anything that can help us out with the drought right now, I assume that when you know growers are disking their cover crops, as has historically been done here, um, there probably is a lot of water loss at that point, right? Yeah. It, it just it, it comes up a lot, a lot faster and you're moving around weed seeds and things like that. So yeah. doing it this way, hopefully, right, will 
lower weed pressure, increase your water holding capacity. Right. Uh, overall, something to something to really consider. Yeah, and not just the water loss, but it's uh, damaging the soil's ability to increase the soil organic matter content every time you're you're disking it or, or tilling it in and. When you see that big cloud of dust behind your tractor, that's soil that's just blowing away in the wind. So if you're applying compost or something, then you're creating erosion to some degree. Uh, but then the, the main influence is you're disturbing the, the, soil's, uh, the soil's objective of creating greater soil organic matter when you're disking it in. We prefer mowing if, if at all possible. Well, hey, thank you for your insights. Uh, best of luck as that project continues. Read more about these things in American Vineyard Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.